So if you're lucky enough to pick up the Galaxy S8, by now you've noticed it came with this tiny little dongle. Now what Samsung intends for you to do is to plug the dongle into your phone, just like this. Take the cable from your old smartphone, plug it in, and then you can transfer the files, videos, whatever you want to from your old phone to your new phone, and you'll feel right back at home again pretty quickly. When you're done with that, most people would think, just take this little dongle, throw it out, continue on with your lives, and just be done with it. But you're kind of missing out, because this little dongle, it's known as a USB OTG connector. And if you don't break it, what it can do is basically anything that you can plug into your computer, you can plug into your Android device. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you all types of crazy cool things. And before we get started guys, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. I know everyone asks you to do that all the time, but you wouldn't believe how much it really does help us out. So while I have the iPhone with me, I'm just gonna start off simple. So plug that cable back in. And then what do you notice? You see right there? It's actually charging. So in a pinch, you can actually charge devices from your Galaxy S8 to your other device. What I've heard is that it will charge them until the battery life is about equal, then it will stop. So pretty cool. Again, do it in a pinch. Don't do it all the time. But you could definitely be the savior of one of your friends if you had that thing handy. Also keep in mind this will work for any other accessory you wanna charge. So I have a little teeny pocket drone. I can take this, plug it in. As you can see, it is drawing power. Totally pointless, but a cool party trick. If you take a cable, plug it into a wireless charger just like this, you can actually charge your own phone with its own power. Here's the wireless charger. Here's the phone. Gotta move it, there we go. It's actually charging. <laughs> so stupid, but it's basically just gonna charge itself to death. Again, a party trick, don't worry about it. We're on to bigger and better things. I got all kinds of cool things for you. Okay, so next up, again, this is probably for you YouTubers or content creators. If you have a USB microphone like the Blue Snowball, you can actually plug it into the OTG cable and then plug it into your Galaxy S8. And then you can record video and then use this as the microphone. I don't think the stock cam camera app actually allows you to do that. So download something called Open Camera and then you just go into the settings and change the video settings and then go down to record audio or actually audio source and then change it to external mic. Okay, so next up on the list is gonna blow your mind if you've never seen this before, but I'm sure everyone has like a wireless keyboard or mouse. You've always, you've seen this little dongle. We're gonna do some dongleception and plug that dongle into this dongle. And now we can actually use the keyboard, the keyboard, <laughs> And then we can also use the mouse with your phone. And it may sound crazy, but everyone may have a time in their life where <laughs> they just need to type with a proper keyboard on their phone. I know like if you have to sign up for something or you're in like a huge group chat, or you just need to get like an email typed up really quick and you don't want to power on your computer, just plug in this dongle straight from your computer and it will work right away. So you'd be surprised how useful that really is. So again, all of these things just have to do, like you've, you never thought you could do this, but you can, so it's pretty amazing. Okay, so I've mentioned, you know, all these cool things, but it's mostly like for you busy people. How about if you wanna take a little bit of time to, you know, game? So just take a controller like this, any basically controller that supports USB should work. Not gonna say they all do, like the Wii U controller does not. But you just plug the micro USB end into your controller like this. Take the USB-A, plug it into your dongle. And now you have a controller that works with your phone. So these controllers do hook up via Bluetooth to your phone, 
but sometimes the lag is so bad, like Bluetooth has a little bit of latency, but when you do it this way, it works really good. You don't even notice. And really like, who cares? Who cares about a cable when you can game like this? It's, it's pretty cool. Okay, I legitimately saved the best for last because for me, this is a really cool hack to do. So you take your phone with your dongle, you plug a cable into it, and now you take this cable and plug it into your camera. So when I do this, it's gonna stop recording, but I'll be back, I promise. So for this to work, all you have to do is go to the Play Store, download an app called DSLR Controller, and now you control your camera with your smartphone. So basically what the DSLR Controller allows you to do, just ignore the fact that I am conjuring a portal to hell right now, but <laughs> just ignore that, I digress. So the cool things, you can change all the basic video functions, ISO, f-stop, aperture, you can check on your custom white balance, you can check on exposure, you can even tap to focus. So if you don't have a camera with a fold-out screen, but your camera has support for this app, which most do, then it's a great option. You could even use this app like as your monitor. You could put your phone on top of your camera and be good to go. It'd be really cool. It would, would be, you know, spending, you know, several hundred dollars for a monitor when you could just use your phone. If you're like me, just keep it in your lap and you can look down every now and then to make sure you're in focus, make sure you're beautiful, mm. make sure you're in focus <laughs> and stuff like that. And there we go, guys. That was it. I'm sure you can think of a few more. Just let me know in the comment section below what other ideas, what other cool things can you do with this USB OTG dongle. And if you've made it this far, don't forget to like the video. It really helps me out a lot and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye.